Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. In our continuing series of answering questions, one question I get all the time is about organization of your photos and what's the difference between a virtual folder and a hard folder. So I organize my photos on a portable hard drive with my Mac. And the reason I do this is I have so many photos, they won't all fit on my computer. I know a lot of you have computers that are out of space and you're out of room, so you're done taking pictures. Well, I don't want that to happen. So what are we doing here? So I have a portable hard drive where all my pictures are stored. And on that hard drive, I have hard folders. I have created folders where I'm storing all of my pictures. Why do I use hard folders? I use hard folders because I've created those photo folders, I've put the photos in there, I know where they are, I'm not using the computer to auto-organize them, and this hard drive can go to any computer. I can plug it into your computer, or your computer, or your computer. I can plug it into my home computer, my laptop computer, my desktop computer here at the office, and I still have the same file structure because they're hard folders. That's the way the hard drive is organized. I know a lot of you like virtual folders, like the albums or collections in iPhoto or Lightroom. Now the great thing about Lightroom is Lightroom is a hybrid between hard folders and virtual collections. And that's acceptable if you like Lightroom. I really don't have good experiences with iPhoto and their virtual collections, their albums, because those collections are very easily lost. The file associations, the organization is very easily lost. If you have a computer crash, if you want to back up and go to a different, a different computer, it doesn't work. So we have a lot of problems. Now, am I the smartest guy in the world on the computer? No. How did I learn this? I talked to smarter guys than me that helped me organize my computer early on in the world of digital photography. And whether you've been photographing a long time or just getting started with a digital camera, it's important that you do your folder organization and your file structure properly. In fact, we have a class, online class, called Organizing Your Digital Photos. And it will help you with this process. So let me show you what I do. So I don't use any fancy software to do my organization. I use on a Mac Finder. If you're a Windows computer, you might use Windows Explorer. So here on my Mac, I'm going to choose the, the portable hard drive. You can see the hard drive there. So I select the hard drive, and you can see the list of all of the places that I have been with my camera. Is that really cool? What do you think, Chris? Yeah, it's very cool, right? So let's see. I'm going to look, for example, at my folder that's marked California. And in the California folder, I have all of the places I've been in California, like Catalina, Central Coast, Death Valley, Disneyland, Eastern Sierra. So that's how I organize my photos. Or how about Japan? And my Japan trip last year in 2017, there are all the photos. Now, this is where I do the organization, this is where I build the folders and the file structure, is here in Windows Explorer or in uh, Finder for the Mac. How do I look at the pictures? That's where we need a digital processing program, like Adobe Bridge. Some of you are going to use Lightroom, some of you are going to use other programs, but I like Bridge because Bridge allows me to very quickly and easily see the photos. And you see how quickly the photos come up? They're organized. I can sort through the photos and I can click through and see them. So this is from my recent trip to Japan last year. And you can see here are the photos and down here at the bottom is the EXIF data because that's how I've set up the view. I can change the window by adding more or less space to one side or the other. I can change the size of the thumbnails, all very simply. I can click on a picture, and by clicking on the loop tool, I can check to see whether this picture is in focus or not. And how powerful is that? And this is the power of using software like Bridge or Lightroom to organize your pictures. I like hard folders to organize because it works better, it's safer for me, it's easier for me to back up. Did I tell you that I have three hard drives that look just like this, that are all mirrors of each other? 
So I have all my pictures at home, in the office, and with my laptop. If I have a computer crash, I can very easily plug in this hard drive to any computer and see my files, to see my photos. I can go to your house and plug my hard drive into your computer and look at the photos. That's the power of using hard photos, and excuse me, hard files to organize. We have a class, Organizing Your Digital Pictures, to help you with that, my 10-step process that I have, thank God, never lost a digital photo because I organize my pictures properly. You may want to do that. Or if you're taking one of our classes or on one of our trips, I'll be glad to talk to you about that in the class or on the trip to help you organize your pictures. Because it's so important for you to get organized and get your pictures saved and backed up properly. We don't want you like the people that come in here to the lab all the time with their files messed up and they can't get their pictures out of iPhoto. We want you to be able to get your pictures out because you spend the money to buy a camera. You spend the time to go on a trip. You go to these great things with your families and you want to make beautiful prints from your pictures. That's the whole secret here. Coming down to Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, let the lab print for you. Come to class, learn how to use your camera, learn how to make better pictures and make better prints. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo wishing you great pictures and come on down. We'll talk about this together.